Nigerians are facing one of the West African nation's worst economic crisis in years. Triggered by surging in inflation, the results of monetary policies that have pushed the currency to an all-time low against the dollar, the situation has provoked anger and protests across the country. No doubt, the ravaging hunger in the land is making people angry at the government and its actions. Recently, residents in Niger, Kogi, Oshun and Kano states took over major roads in protest against the high cost of food items. Contrary to the ruling government's assumption that the protests were political or motivated, the truth is that there is real hunger in the country and the hardship is becoming unbearable. The prices of every commodity have skyrocketed in the markets, including sachet of water. The cost of goods and services have multiplied incredibly. Even fees for both private and public schools have been outrageously increased. Despite low usage, electricity bills have gone up, medical drugs have become out of reach for the poor. The reality of the ground is very terrible and the government should act swiftly. The situation is at its worst in conflict zones in northern Nigeria, where farming communities are no longer able to cultivate what they eat as they are forced to flee violence. Pockets of protest have broken out in past weeks, but security forces have been quick to impede them, even making arrests in some cases. In the economic hub of major cities now in Nigeria, there are fewer cars and more legs on the roads. As commuters, are forced to trek to work. The prices of everything from food to household items increase daily. No jobs or empowerment of youths. Uh, the, the situation in the country is deeply affecting me seriously. Not only me, the entire Nigerians and the commoners. And even the graduates, the no job opportunity, no increment of salary to to transport to their office foodstuffs money to buy foodstuffs and uh, a lot of challenges they are facing in nigeria so government should should do something about it and uh, in the area of transportation to working places and the area of uh, to most of our graduates in the area of job opportunity Transport, talk of transportation uh, in all areas, in all areas, feeding, you know, you know whatever affects transportation in Nigeria affects everything. So it's in all areas, from transportation to, to feeding to so many things affecting everything, it's affecting us. These people are hungry. People are very, very hungry. There's hunger in the land. People are not happy. People are hungry. Yes. So we affect a lot of people, from my immediate family to my friends, my neighbor, and people where I worship. I affect a lot of people who come my way, within my capacity. I've, yes, I've been able to help at least some people definitely there um, there is a hardship in the country right now it is obvious we can't deny it but firstly biting on foodstuffs and um, financial the way things are going up and uh, people are moving about without money in their pocket no job so it's actually biting mostly on financial and foodstuffs yesterday my friend said i sending 5,000 naira that he needs 5,000 naira urgently for something I've been helping my own, my, own, my own way. I've been helping. So, I, 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 my, our prayer is that God should put something in our pockets so that we can help more. Reporting from Nigeria State Capital, Soibifa, Jack Rich, Top Accolade News.